What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how I sped up my brand new laptop for $30 with its solid state drive and increased the speed by about five times. I'm gonna explain what a solid state drive is and why you should absolutely consider getting this piece of technology and putting it in your own laptop or computer. Welcome back everyone, my name is Fred and I'm here to help you improve your life with technology. Be sure to get subscribed if improving your life is something you want to get out of this channel. So just the other day I found myself in need of a laptop so I could do more research and write up notes and information about products. This way I can utilize my time when I'm out and about and provide you guys with more great content. So I found this decent, decent Lenovo laptop here. It's by no means top of the line but it gets the job done except it was so slow. I didn't realize a brand new laptop or computer could be this slow. You're about to see how long it took me to boot this computer up and turn it on before I upgrade it to the solid state drive. And this was just to boot it up. There is still additional waiting time involved to load up any programs and actually use them. And this was frustrating to say the least. I knew what I was getting when I bought the laptop but still less than 24 hours after I bought it, I purchased a solid state drive online or SSD, solid state drive SSD. And as you're about to see, it takes way less time to start using my computer now that I have that installed. Traditionally, computers have used hard disk drives or HDDs to store all the information on. This includes programs, documents, and even the Windows 10, Windows 7, whatever operating system, Macintosh operating system, Everything was stored on the hard disk drives and it works by reading and writing information on a spinning disk. So the rate it can read and load information on your screen is determined by how fast the disk can spin. Over time, the disk can slow down, taking even longer for your information to be read and in turn, your computer to run slower. But don't worry, there is a fix. In recent years, solid state drives, SSDs, have been an incredible technological advancement that speeds up computers by such an incredible margin and you're about to see it in action. Side note here, I saw this laptop had an optical drive and I thought, oh, that's nice. I, I'm not sure I'll use it, but if I ever need to, it's nice to have that option. But then I noticed there wasn't a button on it and after I opened up the laptop, I realized why. It was just a placeholder to fill the gap because Lenovo just reused the shell and motherboard of a model that did have an optical drive. So after I got my SSD installed, I loaded up Windows 10. This guy is so much faster now. This laptop is probably faster than most laptops that are probably double or triple the price. There is a reason most laptops don't come standard with SSDs, and that is because to match the storage size of HDDs, hard disk drives, it gets a lot more expensive but there is a workaround for that and I'll explain that more. This particular SSD I spent $30 on and it has 140 gigabytes of storage, which is just a little bit more than this 128 gigabyte flash drive that I think was more expensive when I paid for it. By the way, if you do want to pick up this SSD for yourself, there will be a link and you can follow in the description. This original hard drive had a storage capacity of 1000 gigabytes, which I believe is about seven, a little more than seven times more capacity than what I replaced it with. You can pay a little more and get a higher capacity SSD. For me, I didn't need a bigger SSD for what I'm using this for, which is mostly just to do research, use the internet and write documents while I'm out and about, which will be transferred later onto my main computer. If you want the speeds of an SSD and the storage capacity of an HDD, I do have a solution for you. You can use an enclosure to house your old disk drive for the one that was originally in it so you can hook it up via USB or sometimes USB-C and transfer your data back and forth that way. And again, I'll have a link to that in the description. But what I'll also do for you is have a link to a company that you can ship your laptop to and they can perform this upgrade to your computer for you if you don't have experience or aren't comfortable opening up your laptop. I would definitely let someone else do it for you if this is the case, because one arm move and you can completely kill your computer and I'm not responsible for that. But if you do want to do this yourself, if tinkering with computers is your thing, have at it. I'll put links to everything that I mentioned in this video in the description and pick it up for yourself. If someone you know is frustrated with their slow PC, be sure to send them this video and let them know there is another way. 
Well, if you hated this video, then give it a dislike and let me know why in the comments. But if you've enjoyed it, then smash that like button and consider subscribing right there or down there, wherever it is on your screen, because that guy up there, well, he's the number one Fred Davis on YouTube. We gotta change that. So hit subscribe so when you search Fred Davis, I will see you there.